I just had microwavable ravioli for dinner, so that would be pretty tragic if I had it all over my face during this video. So hi everyone, today's gonna be a video about all the books that I've bought or acquired in the month of February, excluding a huge unboxing that will be coming later. I'm gonna go ahead and say this up front, most of these books that I have are from Penguin Teen. I received them free for review, so thank you so much Penguin Teen. Loving you as always. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to say about each book, if anything. We all know how I tend to acquire things without knowing much about them. But let's just get started. Right when I thought I had my TBR under 50 books, I go and do stuff like this. Despicable. So the first books that I received are two advanced copies. The first book I'm gonna talk about is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I was sent this by Penguin Teen unsolicited, so allow me to read you a little description. This is about a girl who lives in a world where mythical beasts still roam wild. She's a gifted gunslinger. In a shooting contest, she meets Jin and sees him as the perfect escape route, and so she's trying to escape her town. Rebellion, romantic passion, and the all-consuming inferno of a girl finally embracing her power. I just love the concept of like Middle Eastern set books. I just read The Wrath and the Dawn late last year and it was a great setting and I loved it so I'm hopefully gonna read more about that in this one so I will be reviewing this in the upcoming months. And this comes out in March 2016. That's this year. If you just woke up from a coma or something, in which case, welcome back. The next book is The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. This is her new book coming out in April. This one follows a girl who... Man, these descriptions, I'm telling you. She poses as a servant to escape an arranged marriage, and she wants to start a new life in a new world, but to do that she has to go to the Glittering Court, which is, I quote, a school and business venture designed to transform impoverished girls into upper-class ladies. So this is just a story of this girl at that place making friends and enemies. I don't know, it sounds good. I do love Rochelle Mead's writing and the way that she can just like establish worlds and characters, so I'm hoping this is gonna be really good. Once again, review coming up for this one. This next book is also from Penguin. This is a book that I believe has already come out because I have it in hardback. If not, it should be coming out this spring. This book follows a boy named Amado and it is about the slave trade in modern day Ivory Coast. I've never read a YA book that takes place in Africa about enslaved children, so I think this is going to be very new, very eye-opening. I've never read a book set in Ivory Coast about slavery, at least one that's YA fiction, so I'm hoping this is going to be really, really good, and that's the reason why I requested it for review, so I should be coming out with a review for this one soon as well. It's pretty short. I can do it. Yet another book from Penguin Teen. They were too nice to me. This is Where Futures End by Parker Peavy House. This book is a series of short stories that all intertwine and it's compared to The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell, which I haven't read yet but I've heard so many great things about. It's about a boy with the sixth sense who can glance into another world. And then it goes from 10 years from now, 30 years from now, 60 years from now, 100 years from now, five people divided by time. There are brilliantly connected stories of one world bent on destroying itself in an alternative world that just might be its savior unless it's too late. That just sounded really ridiculously cool to me and I've already read the first couple pages of this and it was mind-bogglingly good writing so I'm expecting this is going to be fantastic. And now it's making me want to pick up the bone clocks. Next I have the first four books in a series that are from Penguin Teen and they are, I think this is the correct order, Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. It's sequel Rebel Springs, it's sequel Gathering Darkness, and the final book that is out, Frozen Tides. Or maybe this is the final book. I'm too scared to read synopses. This book is a fantasy series. It's often compared to Game of Thrones because it has a lot of characters and it's fantasy. I have no clue what it's about other than that. I've heard meh things about it and I've heard great things about it. I'm just dying to dive into another fantasy series because it's really hit or miss with me and I have a feeling these are gonna be hit. So I'm looking forward to reading and reviewing these. Even if I don't read them all consecutively, I'm really looking forward to getting into the first one. This next book I have is also from Penguin and it is Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetes. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I have read her other book, Between Shades of Grey, and I really adored it. It was the first book I'd read like it. I know this is another World War II book. I'm not sure where this is set. It's looking like Germany, Poland, East Prussia, Lithuania. So like the last one that was set in with Lithuania, I think it's gonna be more about those areas. I'm really looking forward to this one and it has really good reviews so far so I'm hoping that I'm gonna like it as well. Hopefully this will be really good and make me cry just as hard as 
Between Shades of Grey did. Next book is also from Penguin. I'm telling you, I love them. They're so sweet. This is Legend, the graphic novel edition, which I have been yearning to get my hands on for ever since it came out last year. I've read the entire Legend series. It wasn't the best thing in the world for me, but this, I can already tell I'm gonna love it. The art just looks so great. I don't want to show you any spoilers. Let me show you like the first page. <laughs> It's gonna be interesting because I haven't read the book since like 2013. So I'm excited to get to this and revisit the series in a different format. This next book I hadn't heard of before and I just kind of jumped on it because it sounded interesting. This is Vitro by Jessica Corey. This book is sci-fi and it sounded so neat to me. It's about these scientists that use an island for experimentation and the people on that island have been experimented with genetically enhanced. I just like that sci-fi that could be real and it's freaky and it's like near future science topics. I hope this doesn't be too real for me. It might be freaky, it might be good, it might be bad. I'm just gonna have to see. I haven't read her other book and I haven't read sci-fi in a very long time. So hopefully I will get into this. And Morgan Rhodes reviewed this one, so hey, I don't know what that was. And the last book Penguin sent me is one that I've already read. This is my favorite book of all time and I just could not resist getting this paperback edition of it because it is so gorgeous. And this is the... I almost said The Vault in Our Stars. It is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, which is a gorgeous book, both in hardcover and this paperback, which has a quote on the cover, but it opens to have that, and it's rainbow, and it is such a gorgeous book, such a gorgeous cover. I cannot emphasize enough how much I adored this book. Highly recommend it. I'm going to link it everywhere. Please just go check it out. Go buy it. <sighs> Alrighty, the last two books I have I actually purchased with my own money, so... This first book I got for $3 as a used book, and it's not even in bad condition at all. So what a steal, am I right, ladies? This is The Golden Boy by Abigail Tartalin? Tartalin. Sounds like it. I heard of this book off of Lindsay Ray's channel. She had said this is one of her favorite books, I think, or I heard her talking about great things about this book. And I wanted to read this book so badly because it is a book about someone who is intersex and I've never read a book anything like that before. I know a couple of gender fluidity books exist, but I haven't picked them up. And this one I believe is adult. That could be totally wrong, but this is in the adult section, so I cannot wait to jump into this and try it. And for three dollars, I couldn't pass it up. Speaking of books I couldn't pass up because of their price, I picked up this book from Costco while I was home for the weekend, and it is The Nightingale by Hannah. No, Kristen Hannah. Another World War II book. Don't quote me on this, but I think this won the Goodreads Award for Historical Fiction last year. It takes place in France in 1939, and that's all I needed to know before I wanted to get my hands on this because based on good reviews and the fact that I love World War II fiction, I wanted to try it out. The writing is just so beautiful so far. Every single review I've seen for this on Goodreads from my friends has been five stars, so I have faith in this book. It's gonna be good. And the cover is just so nice. It's just so nice. I lied. I have two more books to talk about because I set them aside so I could remember to talk about them exclusively. Um, Big news, everybody. Something grandeur happened. The gods have graced me. The gods emerged from their clouds and they said, you've been good. I, <sighs> uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. So, a uh, miraculous feat has occurred. I found someone on Twitter that was looking to trade a copy of Furthermore by Tahana Mafi. So, I worked out something with her, as well as sent off an email to Penguin for a copy, and now I have two copies of Furthermore by Tom and Muffy. <laughs> I'm so happy! I love it so much! Okay, so this is the copy I'm reading from. This is the, this is the cover. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so lovely. So I am currently reading this. I know it's been almost a week since I've gotten this in the mail, but my problem is anytime I read Shatter Me or this, I have to take breaks. Otherwise I get too excited about it. I don't know why I'm talking about this book like I'm reviewing it. Furthermore, is comes out August 30th of this year. It's about a girl named Alice whose father disappears. And so she lives in this crazy colorful world with magic. And she has to go on a quest to go and find him with a boy named Ollie who's right there. Oh man. 
I am currently, man, who even knows, 75 pages into this book. I was scared it wouldn't live up to Shatter Me. I was scared that Shatter Me would just overshine. It is maybe better. I'm only on page 75 and my review notes for this are already like setting up to be maybe an hour long video because I have so much to say about it, so much positivity. This book is written like take Shatter Me, put it on cocaine, and like it's that good. The world, the characters, Alice's sass, Alice's... <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about it. Please pre-order this. Please pre-order it. It is so good. Don't let the fact that it's middle grade scare you off. It is magnificent. I can't wait to get more into this and finish it, but at this point I'm having to take it slow because if I get too excited then I can't focus on the words and I need it to soak in, you know? All right, we're turning back to coherent levels of functioning. Thank you everyone so much for watching this haul. If you've read any of these books or if you want to read any of these books, you should let me know. We should talk about it. And until next time, hope you all are having a wonderful life. Hope that your springtime I'm calling it springtime because it was 75 degrees outside today. It's going lovely and I'll see you all the next time you happen to click on one of my videos, which hopefully will happen. Subscribe. <laughs> Goodbye everyone.